What's up guys, this is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 2015 Haywire Ranch video. And today we will be rainwalling and foraging the grass that we mowed. And we will be transporting it all to the biogas where we will be selling it all and making a lot of money. That way we could buy more equipment. And to start this off, we will have to rent a new windrower since the last one was not working correctly. And we will also be purchasing a new tractor. So let's rent the windrower first. We're going to rent the really large one. That way it's efficient. We're going to rent it for four hours. I think that's a good enough time for us to use it and uh, finish with it. And we will be purchasing the John Deere 7310RFH. Really nice and detailed tractor. And I did do a mod review on it. And... I just purchased the a twin wheels set for it. So let's select on over there. And uh, yeah, awesome tractor. This has a lot of features as the old one did that we still have. And uh, has a front loader attachment, which is perfect. And actually, we'll probably purchase that because we need to bring these set of wheels over. And it does have the working door functions and all that good stuff. So just tilted the steering wheel and I added on the uh, wheels since we purchased it. I thought that it would be good to have and we will be using this large wind mower. No modded one today since I did have some problems with the uh, modded one that we tried to use in the last video. I thought that it would be best to not use one and uh, please let me know in the comments guys if you would like to see more Haywire Ranch videos and what would you guys want me to do in them also let me know with that but uh, yeah this wind mower is really big actually larger than the one that we rented in the last video I'm going to have to get this unfolded and uh, just adjust it to the correct uh, distance once I know exactly how wide but uh, wow we will well, we have to rent a really big uh, forge wagon to also be efficient, but uh, yeah, I really do like trying to be as efficient and uh, realistic as possible at the same time. Kind of good mix. And uh, yeah, this tractor fits all the needs for the farm. You know, we really do need to upgrade it, the tractor since we've used the other one since the start on this series. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but uh, awesome. This is a, a little bit larger, which is perfect. I really do like having these large equipment, and hopefully, we will be upgrading our our harvester to a larger one. And uh, I will just continue to do this. And uh, yeah. Finishing up now with the wind rower here just a one more pass and then we'll switch on over to the forge wagon and like I said we will be dumping it all at the biogas that way we can sell it in and make a lot of money and I'm sorry for this John Deere tractor being extremely loud compared to the other one but let's head on over to our shop and let's put this in storage for now since this wind mower is just a rental we won't put it back in our shop area we'll just keep it here and uh, just park it right here and then let's rent the large forage wagon now that way it's easy and efficient for us because we're going to be going back and forth a lot so let's rent it, I would say, for three hours now. Not too long. Let's go pick it up and uh, start foraging. This is the in-game forage wagon. I don't have any modded ones in at the moment. And I do not have manual ignition in at the moment either because that was what was causing the problem with the last wind mower. And I had to take it out to even attach it to the tractor but let's head on over here it's just over here and uh, let's 
forage up all this grass and like I said we're to be transporting it to the biogas which is perfect I really do like uh, the biogas because I've used it a lot in uh, my single player and I really do enjoy it because it helps make a lot of money for the farm and uh, yeah let's just continue to forage now Arriving at the biogas with the first full load of grass. And to make it more efficient when we go to sell this, we will be putting it all in the silo closest, which is this one right here. And we will be having to rent the loader again, since by the time we are ready to sell this all, our rent for that will be up. Which is fine, we'll just rent it again for one day let's see how much percentage this is that way we know how much of these we have to bring here and we need 10% in here to blanket it but 5% a trailer that is a lot we'll be getting a lot of silage which is perfect and I'll continue this process with, for trucking it over here with the tractor and I could have just attached the forage wagon to a truck, but I really do like to be realistic with my gameplay, and I feel that just towing it with a tractor is actually cheaper and I think more realistic. Just about halfway done with this foraging, I got the whole fun section of the field completely done. Now we have half of this back section, and then this will be arriving at the biogas plant with the last load of grass in the forage wagon so we will unload this and we will also blanket the silo and then we will return this forage wagon back to the store and just will return all the rented equipment back let's see what percentage we are at and it looks like we're having a little bit more silage than we did in the last time that we did the corn harvest so this is awesome it's going to make us a lot of money which I really do like to make a lot of money in this game to help us expand our farm so let's detach that and I will be adding back the manual attaching and let's compact this to the full 100% and I feel that it's a lot easier without the trailer, without the Ford Dragon on the back. So let's drive off this and let's blanket the silo once we hook back up here and uh, jump on out. And I did open the uh, window just for a little breeze. And uh, we'll just keep the door open since we're only going to blanket it and... Yeah, that's awesome. So we'll be selling all this in the next video and uh, we'll be making a lot of money. So now let's head back to the dealership and uh, drop off this forge wagon and then we're going to wash the tractor. Pulling into the store now and we'll just bring this around back and drop it and bring this back and then let's also go get the wind mower and the front motor because we do not need those and I do not want to keep them if we aren't going to use them and the rent time is only a few more hours pull this away and I notice that if the tractor is right here it actually like trades it in and uh, I forgot to wash it so uh, let's go back to the uh, shop now and we'll wash it right before we bring it back just in case because I don't want to be charged a hundred dollars for the washing of it and then we will purchase a front loader once we uh, also give back the front loader to the store I'm gonna pull this out and actually this doesn't look like it needs a wash even though the other one didn't look like it this one does not need one I don't think so uh, let's just come over here and pull on in here. 
this is a pretty big one and renting in this game is awesome it is a mod and I do have the uh, link to that in the description below so let's take a look at this here and this looks to be a three point attachment which is awesome we actually do not need the front loader attachment for this tractor I really do like that feature that is put on some of these so let's take this back to the store and we'll go get the front loader actually I'm thinking once we get the uh, front loader back here we might buy the attachment I think it's worth investing in since uh, you guys want me to do bales and uh, we will be doing the square bales and I can't wait for some bailing to come but let's drop this here and I'm going to have to decide if I would like the front loader attachment but let's also uh, wash this up and then we will take the wheels off since we do not need them on this at all and I keep forgetting to uh, always open the door when I get out because that just makes it that much more realistic and a lot of you guys are really liking how I am trying to be as realistic and really try to do everything like it would be in real life so it looks like it's completely washed let's take them off awesome and uh, I don't really want to store them with it on since we do have a small shed here I'm gonna have to shut the window and I'm just going to back this in at an angle here trying to keep it out of the weather and uh, let's go get the front loader which I'm going to have to vehicle select to and uh, let's trans actually this is eight hours let's leave this here actually and let's head back here and let's see if this tractor here has a front loader attachment I'm going to have to turn the tractor on awesome it it does so let's actually before we wash this tractor let's go and get that attachment because I really do think that it's awesome and I'm taking this tractor because it is quieter and I'm not sure exactly why the other one is so loud and I'm sorry about that let's uh, open the door actually I don't think we need to open the door and we're just gonna get the multi tractor one we aren't gonna get the John Deere version and the pallet fork and this would be awesome I really am excited that we got this because it's going to help us out when we do the bales and it will be good until we get the uh, telehandler and looks like actually this is way too big hmm I've never actually had that happen before okay so it looks like I'm going to have to figure out what that is, but uh, let's go back here and uh, wash this tractor and uh, we'll park the other one up and yeah, we'll look at how much it is to trade in that combine. That's really frustrating. I might have to uh, give that back to the dealership and just tell them that uh, it's not working for us. And I would also like to trade in one of the cultivators we have to get us a little bit more funds since uh, we kind of outgrew that one get inside close that and uh, just keeping our tractors out of the weather I think will be beneficial for us back that in here let's go get the other small one I really do like this one and I will also be purchasing a Ford tractor I kind of like those also and uh, we're going to have to also wash this oh yeah that door is I kind of like how these doors open this way it's really cool going to keep it closed though and I'm gonna wash this up really fast and then I'm going to have to decide if we call it a day here but I think it is 
perfect. This might be a little bit of a short video, and I'm sorry about that, guys. But uh, stay tuned for the next one, where we will be making a lot of money. We will be harvesting and also selling all that silage. So stay tuned for that, and like always, like, comment, and subscribe.